good evening and welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. This is evening prayer and meditation for Thursday, January the 12th. Seek him who made the Pleiades and the Orion, and turns deep darkness into the morning, and darkens the day into night, who calls for the waters of the sea, and pours them out upon the surface of the earth. The Lord is his name. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light. We sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. The Psalms appointed for this evening are Psalms 98, 99, and 100. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. With his right hand and his holy arm has he won for himself the victory. The Lord has made known his victory. His righteousness has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He remembers his mercy and faithfulness to the house of Israel, and all the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Shout with joy to the Lord, all you lands, Lift up your voice, rejoice, and sing. Sing to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, shout with joy before the King, the Lord. Let the sea make a noise and all that is in it, the lands and those who dwell therein. Let the rivers clap their hands, and let the hills ring out with joy before the Lord when he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. The Lord is king, let the people tremble. He is enthroned upon the cherubim. Let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion. He is high above all peoples. Let them confess his name, which is great and awesome. He is the Holy One. O mighty king, lover of justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God, and fall down before his footstool. He is the Holy One. Moses and Aaron among his priests, and Samuel among those who call upon his name. They called upon the Lord, and he answered them. He spoke to them out of the pillar of cloud. They kept his testimonies and the decree that he gave them. O Lord our God, You answered them indeed. You were a God who forgave them, yet punished them for their evil deeds. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God, and worship him upon his holy hill. For the Lord our God is the Holy One. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. What is the house which you would build for me, and what is the place of my rest? All these things my hand has made, and so all these things are mine, says the Lord. But this is the one to whom I will look the one that is humble and contrite in spirit 
and trembles at my word. For as the new heavens and the new earth which I shall make will remain before me, says the Lord, so shall your descendants and your name remain. From new moon to new moon and from Sabbath to Sabbath, all flesh shall come to worship before me, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. So I have to admit that every time I walk through the doors of Grace Church Cathedral, I am always reminded of how beautiful a space it is. Now, I grew up coming to Grace, and I grew up worshiping in, in the church, and I've seen the transformations that have happened throughout the course of the years. But I'm always taken with how beautiful a space it is, and how that this building is really where I came to, to know God, to discover a uh, relationship with God. And it's in the space that I grew in faith and had my faith sort of develop. And so the words from the prophet Isaiah um, kind of create a little bit of a mixed bag of emotions for me because it's talking about houses of worship. Particularly it's talking about the temple, but in general we're talking about houses of worship. And God does not live in houses. God does not live in churches. So you can't really make the claim that you can only experience God in a space for worship. Even though, from my experience, my first encounters with God, I became aware of them in a sacred space, in a church, surrounded by stained glass and the beauty of, of, of the space. But if you dig down into it, does, you know, does that mean that God is only in that sacred space? Well, no, that's not the case. But also, yes, God is present in sacred spaces. Now, some of you may, may have, uh, have friends who have said, well, I don't need to find God in a church. I can go out in nature, and that's where I encounter God. And that's fair. I've had the same kind of experiences, walking along the beach, looking up at the stars on a particularly clear, uh, clear night, going for a walk in the mountains. There are places where I have also felt the presence of God. I have encountered God's undeniable presence out in nature. Does that mean that God is out in nature and that's where you can encounter God? Yes, but also, no, not really. Because that does not mean that if you automatically go out into the woods, you're going to have an encounter with the divine. The clue to how we have an encounter with God is given to us in the words of Isaiah. I will dwell with the one with a humble and contrite spirit. When we are not so full of ourselves that we think more highly of ourselves than we ought and we realize how small we are, how dependent on God's love we are, how amazing God's love for us is, that's where we can have the true encounter with God. Whether we're in a sacred space like this cathedral, whether we're out in nature, wherever it may be, if our heart is humble, and we're willing to, to, to acknowledge our smallness and our dependence upon God, that's where God enters in. And that is where we can discover a true relationship with God and how powerful that can be. And also in the words of Isaiah, it opens to us an entirely new world, a new creation, a new heavens and a new earth in the words that Isaiah gives to us, where we can have this encounter with God and we can see the world in a new way and experience it as God would have us experience it. So whether you're in a church, whether it be Sunday or during the week, whether you're out in nature, whether it be Sunday or during the week, strive for humility. Acknowledge your dependence upon God and that is where you will have that encounter. And for that we can say, thanks be to God. We continue with the Magnificat on page 119. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him 
in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat you, O Lord that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, we entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world, we entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, we entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ, We entreat you, O Lord. O God, by the leading of a star, you manifested your only Son to the peoples of the earth. Lead us who know you now by faith to your presence, where we may see your glory face to face, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope that we may know you as you are revealed in Scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. At this time, I invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise 
not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now may the road rise to meet you. May the wind be ever at your back. May the silver light of the moon guide your steps in the darkness and the crickets sing you on your way home. And until we meet again, God keep you in the palm of his hand. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen.